Hi there, I'm Kitty and I'm going to show you how to draw a dragon in an Eastern style. So first up what you need is an A4 sized piece of paper, a pencil and a rubber. So to get started, uh, what I do is I um, will draw an oval and this is a guide for the head. And then for the actual body itself, we just bring a line out. Just as we bring it out we start to curve it back in and then down. Like that. And then we curve it up again and around. Like that. And the Eastern style dragons are quite long and almost kind of quite worm-like in a way. So I'll just make the body quite long. So that's that's our start line and then we bring another line down and we just follow the same shape around, just trying to keep the same distance between um, between the lines. down and around like that and then with this inner inner line we take that around and up so it kind of comes back on itself in a way and then we take this line around we're just going to bring it slightly closer because this is the tail this is where the body forms into the tail And then slightly go through there because that's our guide. Again, lightly through there and down. Just like that. To the end of the body slash tail. Then for the underneath of the body, where the texture is slightly different on the skin, we just bring another line, just following this one, and just kind of keeping it the same distance to there. And then we just bring it out slightly wider on this point. Like that, and then down. bring it out slightly wider again down and then what I'm going to do is just take it so it goes under the tail at the end up a little bit like that and then for the arms um, of the dragon we'll do a little oval like that and then a little oval like that and into a circle and then again on the side an oval a thinner oval and then a circle 
just for the guide and then for the legs come down into an oval and then we take this other well it's more like an elongated jelly bean <laughs> or a rectangle and we take it just slightly behind that oval like that and then again just on that other side just to show that back leg or back back foot like that so that's our basic structure of our dragons now we're going to go back in and just put in some detailing and stuff using those guide ovals and shapes so first we'll start with the head so I'm just going to square this head off a little bit by just straightening up the lines on this oval so coming up from that back of the neck straight across and then we come down and straight like that and then we go into a bit of a bump or half circle for the nostril and then down and then just across like that and then back up again into a bump for that second nostril and then we make a wavy kind of curvy line there to go into the jaw and then bring that down as well with a bit of a curve and run it along there and then we join it with another curved line just back under that nose and then we take another line out and around and then just using that side of the oval as a guide go down past there and then up into a jaw like that and then we do a leaf shape for an ear and then another little leaf shape leaf shape in the middle for the inner ear and then for the horns we come up into a bit of a bump there like that and then we're going to make these horns really long so almost like really long triangles really long thin triangles with a slight rounded tip at the end and then again on this side we just bump it out a little bit and then bring it up and around and down And for the other ear we just kind of take like a half leaf shape out just to show that that ear is sticking out on that side like that then for the eye on the side we just bump it out a little bit just to show that there's like a bit of an eyelid sticking out there and for the eye on the side just again almost like a leaf shape with one side slightly um, less curved than the other side that's the more curved side like that and then we take another line up and bring it back then we do a circle and then just shade in that bottom bit of the circle to leave a white dot for a highlight and then we just bring a line up and over the top to show uh, where the eye is raised, the eyebrows raised. And we're just going to add a couple of lines, slightly curved lines across like that to show a wrinkle in the nose where it's kind of snarling. 
and then a dot there for the nostril and a dot there and again just another line there and another line there to show where it's kind of flaring its nostrils and then from this bit here kind of bring like a long kind of whiskery line down and across and then again we just follow that line down and join it there like that and then do some triangles there and there for his teeth then we're going to have a tongue coming out too so just curve that out and then curve this other line out and put a triangle part in the end like that come in and back there yeah, so it goes back into the mouth and then just down here we'll just do some more triangles to show teeth running along the bottom and then just a few more triangles at the top here to show them running along the top as well Then we'll go and do um, just add the scales along the back. So these scales are quite free flowing in a way, like not so choppy like we see on the other dragons that we've done. So kind of more like gentle, gentle rounded, kind of like quite random waves in a way, but really soft. So not quite um, so sharp and jagged as what we've done before. You just kind of randomly take them down and around like that and up. So take them all the way along the back of our dragon. And just under the feet there as well. And then right to the top of the tail. I'm just going to darken that back line up again. Then for the tail, the tail itself, so we're going to bring a slightly curved line out and then down and around and then back up, almost like a flame kind of coming out of that tail. So like that. And then again on the inside, just to add a bit of texture in there, just like that. I'm just going to go and fix up these arms as well. So we just run a line down the back, and I'm just going to bump it out there for a little elbow. And then we come down into the hand and bump it out there for a bit of a claw, and then there, there, and there we bump out for fingers for more claws. Sorry, and then down on the side again, just following those following those shapes that we originally put in and then bump it out and then one two three four one two three four bumps for claws and then I'll just get my rubber and just rub out 
where we no longer need those guide shapes. out. Just like that. Cool, and then we'll just add the claws in. So just little triangles. Just coming out from where the bumps are coming up from the hands. Like that. And then for these legs, and just again, just following around those oval shapes that we've done coming down. What I'm going to do here is just extend some smaller ovals out to make claws and again on the side let's bring it out slightly more for the claws and again just grab my rubber just rub out the bits that we don't need anymore that and then just take that back up and fix up where I've accidentally rubbed out and again just using little triangles for the claws like that and then we just have one at the back as well like that and then I'll just go and darken that up again sometimes the pencil gets rubbed off a bit with my hand <laughs> going over top of it. Let's darken that up. So for the texture of the tummy, um, what I usually do is just draw slightly curved lines all the way along. And it just gives that look of it being different, a different texture to to this part of the body here which we'll do as well once we finish this bit. So again just taking them all the way along, kind of directing them towards the um, the turn as well, the turn in the body, the curve and the twist. So as they come down here they're more horizontal and as they're up here they're more vertical. Twisting them around so they become more vertical as it goes along the side of the body and then again start to turn them so they're more horizontal at this point and you kind of stick them in quite randomly I try and keep them quite even evenly spaced but just it looks cool whatever space you put between them like that. And before I do the top texture I'm just going to grab my rubber and just rub out this bit here where we don't need that line anymore because we've got our face now just in here as well. Just like that. And again, I'll just fix up those lines. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add some scales to this dragon. So to add scales, what I do is just do like a little tiny half circles joined together and then you just kind of do them again but put the points in the middle of the half circles 
that you've already done. So kind of like that. It just gives that nice texture and again here I'll just do them going back in to the dragon as well. Dragon's head. And again you can make these quite random too because just even just adding some little half circles in there as you can see it's just giving it that nice texture and it just gives a nice texture to the to the skin of the dragon so we're going to do the whole body so you just you can even make them slightly bigger and slightly smaller in different areas just to kind of you know add more detail in there. And as I start to get to these curves as well, I don't um take them right across like because I I want kind of like this to happen as well where they start going on a different angle coming down. So as you can see this is more of a vertical angle and this will be more of a horizontal angle. So I just start to just fill them in um, by adding just like say four there and then five across. So I'm just trying to make the pattern kind of come around rather than just keeping it straight across. Again, like I was saying, you just make them quite random. It is quite time consuming, but I think at the end it just gives you such a nice texture to your to your drawing. And as you can see, like just having those lines there and these scales here, it just adds and lifts your lifts your picture. Again, because we're changing the angle, I'm just going to go to the top of those arms and then we'll come back and do the arms and legs after we've finished the body. As you can see, just making them slightly bigger at the top and smaller down there just helps them change, change the angle as well. do a few across like that and then start taking them across again now that my angle is slightly changed there.
going to just going to come across the top of the legs and then we'll do some more texture on the legs once we finish the body. It's almost like we're going backwards with our um, with our scales because we're going in a different direction but we've stayed just on the, the same path we've just changed direction here. It's going to start up again after the scale on the back. And here we have it. And then with these legs we're just going to come down like that from the top and do more of those loopy loop uh, scales, those half circle scales and then I'm just going to take it down to there like that and then again on there it's like just a few there and again with these just coming down from the top on a different direction to what's going across the top just come down them to down to the hands like that. and then again here Now because this dragon's already got a lot of texture um, and things going on, we'll just do a really basic shade. So just, I'll just click out my pencil, uh, well worn it since um, we've been drawing scales. But um, we'll just do a little bit of a shade, a little bit of a colour in around the jaw and stuff. Um, just give it a bit, a bit more texture. So we just softly, excuse me, softly take it in. 
there and then just darken up on the inside of that mouth just around the tongue and the whiskers again doesn't need uh, doesn't need much this one because we've got so much happening here so do a little light shade on the tongue then a bit of a light shade under that jaw like that and then again on here and then just lightly shade and then darken it on the outside bit just to give a bit around the, the nose as well like that and then across the top here just a light shade and then just darken it up softly by pressing down harder, sorry, like that. And then with the eyes as well, we'll just bring a light shade down under there and around, and then just above the eyebrow, like that. And then the ear at the back, just a light shade. And then along the bottom of the horn, and then again on the side, and just a little bit of a colour on their ear. Again, it's just adding just those little touches just to bring the dragon out a bit more. Then with the scales on the back, just a little bit of a colour in there. By starting softly, and then just pressing a little bit harder as we get closer to the body. As you can see, I'm not doing too much there, but just just gives it that that separation from the, those scales, the other scale, the, the body scales. come around at the back like that Again, all the way up here, bringing it round to join. And then just behind the like that, down. just add a bit of shading in here where that tail crosses over so again lightly shade and then just press a little bit harder back there and it just gives that impression that this is over top of the back tail and then again here as well just that back foot just give that a bit of a shade to show that it's behind and then this one too just lightly and then a bit darker as we get towards that body like that And then we're just going to do a really soft, really soft shade down the side. Over top of those lines that we drew, just to give that bit of roundness to our dragon's body. Bring it down and in. Yeah, just doing it really softly along. Down and around, and then down there as well. And 
then just the hands again just a really light shade and just darken it slightly there and up there okay and these as well just a soft shade down the sides of the arm and then across the hand too and where that joins the body just do a soft shade and then make it darker closer to the under bit of the arm where it crosses over and then it just makes it look like the arms in front and again here These feet, just a, this foot, just a light shade across the bottom, like that, just give it some texture, and then finally the tail. So, again, just a light texture coming out there. I mean, light texture, light shade, and we just give it some kind of lines. Whoops, I just hit my lamp. Some soft lines, um, there, like that, to give that tail a bit of texture too. So there you have it, a dragon, done in Eastern style. I hope you enjoyed doing that. See you later.